Every time I switch my phone from one brand to another, it could be a nightmare. I have no idea whether the old phone would block the data I want to transfer, and if the new phone would ensure that I can seamlessly migrate my data and apps. The truth is, accidents happen all the time. They had always assumed that their software experience is unique, trying to make it harder for you to switch brands with the closest software assistant. But come on, you're not Apple, but all based on Android. Those customized OS have always been the most important part of the manufacturer's product eco. In the early stage, a few years ago, when we switched from one brand to another, we usually had to manually back up our data and transfer to a new phone from another brand via a wired connection. But fortunately, at that time, we didn't have much data and apps to migrate. But now we have phones that feature 256 gigabyte or even one TB storage filled with the photos, videos, app data, personal data, and a lot of stuff that I can't even name. A bunch of personal data has been stored on smartphones including some third-party apps. When we want to transfer to another brand, we have to face the fact that most apps' data are not transferable across brands, although they are all on the Android platform. Even though you can transfer a third-party app to a new phone, it would be a completely new installation on your new phone. And if it were a local game or tool without online data, all your achievements or saved files would have to start from zero. And even if it's a large online game like Genshin Impact, you will not only have to log into your account again, but also have to download over 10 GB of the game data for the integrity of data. Perhaps the giant brands are becoming more confident in their own hardware and IoT ecosystem and no longer feel the need to restrict their users to another brand through locking personal data. So recently, three of the top smartphone manufacturers, Oppo, Vivo, and Xiaomi, have finally entered into a partnership called the Clone Alliance. It would allow wider phone data to be transferred to another partner brand's phone. It sounds like a burning wall is going to come down, but is this really possible at this moment? Today I want to do a test to show you exactly what data we can transfer between the three brands of phones under this partnership and how we can accomplish what sounds impossible. Before we start the test, let me introduce the candidates for the competition. We chose OnePlus 11, Xiaomi 13 Pro, and Vivo X90 as our testing devices all of which are sold in China and run Chinese versions of the Color OS, MIUI, and Origin OS. I don't know if these three brands would take the partnership to global markets, but at least for now, you still can't save the expense of backing up and storing your data on a tool like Google Cloud Drive. All phones have been updated to the latest system. I installed these third-party apps on my phone and logged into my account. Then I put some media files and some other files in the user directory and data directory respectively. Indeed, I was curious if these scattered personal files could be recovered to another phone via transfer. Let's start with the OnePlus 11 as an old device. In order to transfer media and data to our Xiaomi 13 Pro or Vivo X90, we need to install the data transfer app of the corresponding brand on the old device. Here are the data transfer apps from each of the three brands for your reference. You can also use them on their brother brands such as Oppo, Realme, and iQOO. When we click the button of Send Items in one of the brand's data transfer apps, I need to authorize the app to link to the brand's own data transfer app, which can read and transfer data from third-party apps, and then I can check and tick all available data on the list. It should be noted that not all third-party application data can be transferred, and some applications involving financial security and incompatibility on new phones may not be supported. Here, I don't recommend you to start data transfer from the initial setup on the new phone, although each brand has its own pre-installed data transfer app. As it may not be the latest version that supports transferring third-party application data, so you'd better skip the data transfer and finish the initial setup first and then update the app to the latest in the app store. Here, I have already installed it so I can just start a transfer. The app may not select the all available data by default, so make sure you have checked and ticked them. We can see that both phones will transfer data via personal hotspot at the rate of roughly 500 Mbps. And after the transfer is complete, almost all third-party apps are stored to the new phone. And they are no longer newly installed apps, as the relevant app data is also transferred over. As you can see, when we open these daily apps on our new phones, they are all in a state where the account is already logged in. And when I open some heavy games, I don't need to re-download the data, which really saves us a lot of time. And then I checked the file directory again. Bravo! All the types of files I had stored on my old phone were transferred to this new one. This is so crazy that I was almost crying out. The data transfer app can transfer almost all the most important data except for the system settings. It means you no longer need to buy Google's Cloud Drive nor rely on carrier networks to move from one brand to another. 
Not just it came true on one plus two others, but the other two also got it done perfectly. I tried to copy and paste data between these three phones and they all work quite perfectly to transfer and receive third party apps and their data. Here is a detailed test result for your reference. I believe this works fine on all their brother brands as well. With the help of clone alliances, switching between brands will no longer be a problem. You just need to consider whether a specific product is more in line with the preferences. And of course, I hope that these brands can make the cooperation deeper and pull in more allies. At the moment, you can transfer some basic system settings to another brand of phone, but I guess it will take quite some time because I found that even if you transfer data between two phones of the same brand, some settings won't be transferred such as options about battery and performance, since they got slightly different in specific settings and features. It's a good start, at least we don't have to deeply feel the chaos that comes with switching phones across the three brands. We hope more brands can understand that bonding of data is not the reason to keep users staying, the good user experience is. So that's all for today. If this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, which means a lot to us. And we're from Kismet China. See you next time. Thank <music> you.